what's up welcome back to another video uh pretty excited about this one josh and i've been uh talking about doing this um kind of gave him a spot to go fish for a crick and uh he ended up coming up with an idea to uh do some bank set lines um this is something i'm familiar with i do this with my family every year in the river and uh he's never done it before but Josh and I went yesterday and uh, he purchased four PVC, half inch PVC pipes and so I rigged them up for him yesterday so we got just a like a poly polycarbon I think it's called like a like a string rope type stuff um, I rigged those up for him um, he's got to put hooks and stuff on his but I had to slice the bottom on all four, so all all four of his are rigged up. And this is what I'm used to. Um, we use willow branches, uh, which is fine, you know, walking rivers and stuff. And uh, same same deal, the pink uh, line, a um, little weight here. You can use any type of weight. This is just what I had on hand about a foot or more and uh circle hook so this is mine these are mine i got two and josh has four in nebraska you're legally allowed 15 hooks in a river so we got way less than that but um yeah i'm about to go meet him right now at this spot and uh, we're going to set these up, set them up with some bait, and then uh, hopefully uh, leave them out all night and then um, go check them tomorrow. And uh, not sure if we're going to go check them in the morning or evening, maybe uh, reset them or something. And um, hopefully we can, hopefully we get something. I'm not, uh, my hopes aren't too high because... It is like April and I mean it just snowed yesterday it's all gone today but uh, super beautiful day today so we're gonna head out and uh, set these up so I'll catch you guys when we get there talk to Josh see what the plan is but stay tuned see you in a bit Josh takes takes his sweet time sometimes. Waiting on him. Um, when he gets here, we're gonna rig up his poles. I rigged mine up already, and then we're gonna rig up his poles. I think we're gonna get some bait, and then uh, then we got a little drive from where we're meeting here, and um, then we're gonna go and uh, yeah, set these up hopefully, and might do a little uh, fishing too but um i think we're just gonna go set him up but yeah, we're just waiting on him and then uh yeah we'll catch you when we get down there we did it yeah there's like a little step Right here. Yeah. Should we be able to reach him? Yeah, I can reach him. Okay. Just kind of taking our time. There was some people fishing down here, and uh, uh, we didn't really want to set up in front of them with the the lines. Just kind of waiting for them to leave. Um, in the meantime, Josh and I are trying to catch like a full head or bluegill or something. something that comes out of the creek we can use for fresh uh, live bait, I guess. Yeah, we just don't really want anybody taking the stuff or seeing us set them up and then maybe taking them or messing with all our stuff. But what we're doing is completely legal, so we're allowed to do it. You just gotta make sure that you uh, leave a tag with your, you know, your address and your fishing license on it, number on it and your name. That way if uh, someone does report it and 
Game Warden comes to check it out, you know, they can know that you are legal doing it, and if they catch you without that on there, then you're kind of in trouble. But I've had experience setting lines for several years, so this is a little new. It's more of a crick than a, a river, so this will be interesting. Um, it looks like a really good spot. It really drops off these rocks and uh, definitely could give some space for these fish to uh, hang out in these rocks or make some holes or whatnot. So yeah, I'm excited to find out if we get something, but right now we've been here for probably 20 minutes and I haven't even gotten a bite or anything. Seen some carp, but that's about it. All right, we're gonna set up a first one, show you guys how we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna set up the rest and then we'll show you when we're all done. A straight drop? -off. Yeah, so like we'll set it in the bank like this and there'll be like a big hole and we just basically, we take live bluegill, we use all live. And then you leave that bluegill like maybe that far under the water nope. and it sits there and just runs on the top of the water. And then, you know, it causes commotion it. and then that line will just start to go like that. And then that's why you don't have all of it and they can stop. It's just enough for them not to be hanging themselves in the water. And then basically they're just gonna sit there with it and then you come and check it. I think this, I've never done it like this, but I'm sure it will work. Cause I mean, but sometimes by the time a fish gets to it, I mean, your live bluegill isn't gonna be live sometimes, so. Well, this is the time of year that a flathead might eat cut bait too, so. I'm not sure though. At night they'll probably swim up into the rocks and stuff, right? Yeah, I just, I don't know, maybe like they got holes underneath the rocks too. Yeah. Just toss her out and give her a... Yeah. <laughs> that ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> So basically, Are I think to get more line out or no? No? I think we just need to kind of poke around with uh, one of those and see what if we can find a just straight deep hole. I mean, that's our best bet. All right, let's go grab one. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know how much I filmed um, of us setting out the lines, but uh, we got them all set out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six lines out. Two of them have night crawlers. One has a drum head, one has a bluegill head. And then the other two have just like cut bait, little slivers. So um, a little non-traditional than what I'm used to. I'm used to going straight down and using live bait. Um, that's majority of the time what you're gonna do when you set these lines. You're gonna find deep holes and I'm used to you know wading in these creeks and finding these holes with the poles and then uh, setting the live bait up but this you know it's something new that I've never done and Josh this is all new to Josh so we're you know we're using cut bait and uh, trying something different we th the spot we found is all this riprap rock I mean you guys can see this trunk rock and basically it drops straight down off this so uh, it's really deep, I mean, I, I can't imagine how deep it is. There's a tire swing, you know, over here, so I imagine it is pretty deep. People are diving and jumping in here, swimming in here and stuff, so, yeah. I don't know, we're going to wait around a little bit and cat, try to catch something with our rods and then maybe, hopefully, something gets bit while we're here. That'd be awesome, but I, I'm being optimistic and saying we're going to get at least something on these and first try we'll see we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and uh, re check them and rebate them if we want and then maybe check them again so this is something i might be doing a lot more of and i think josh is too so pretty excited to do this and uh i hope we catch something we can show you guys and i let me know if you guys are enjoying something like this and it's a little different but I'll talk to you in a bit did it just come off 
Oh my god! Is that a flathead? I have no idea. It was big. It rolled like a cat. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Dang. That was big. Yes, it was. That was the we said the rod that least was gonna get like least expected to get hit all the way over here. Dude, I wonder how long it had it before. Like, I you saw it get bumped. I seen it get bumped, but then I was watching it the whole time and it didn't seem like it was, and then all of a sudden. Dude, that thing made a big ass splash. He rolled like instant. I don't think it was like a car for a channel. That was uh, a a bigger variety. That looked like a five to ten pound fish. I mean, that's not huge, but Damn. bigger than anything I've caught out of here. I don't know how you didn't get hooked. I don't either. That's one, a big hook, and two, circle hook. <laughs> Grab another piece of bait. The rod, or the set bank line that we thought wouldn't get hit at all, we set at the very end. It actually was the first one to get hit, and it's only been about 10 minutes since we uh, decided to sit down and fish. Big fish, looked like a catfish and uh, took off and rolled. All right, well, I don't know if you guys could see that right away, but got a hit already. It's been exactly 17 minutes, uh, Josh said, and uh, I don't know. We're gonna stick it out a little longer. Hopefully uh, it comes back. He didn't, I don't think he got hooked. It came off pretty easily, but Let's stick it out a little longer. And I guess if you don't see me again, you'll see me tomorrow. But yeah, I hope we get one. That was that just got our our hearts pumping right there, just to see like something bite right away. That's cool. <laughs> morning welcome back like I said if we didn't catch anything yesterday we'd be back in the morning Josh and I just got here could be right now we can't really tell if we've got anything we're up on a hill but we're gonna walk on down there and investigate all the lines and hopefully we got something That'd be pretty cool. If not, then we'll rebait them and come back later. So, catch you when we get down there. Yeah. No one, no one messed with them. It was Bob. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Coming down, just woke up, freaking might catch a fish without having to do anything. Yep. Yeah. We got something. Yep. What yep. is it? A little channel. Little channel <laughs> on the tight crawler. Hell yeah, no, that's bigger than anything I ever caught out of here. He is. He's got like warts. Yeah, he doesn't really look that edible. No, this is with the little tiny piece. Really? Like the ice fishing cut bait. Oh yeah, there's a bigger hook on there. He's like nasty. His eyes all glazed over. All right, on the way down here, we were kind of curious on if we were gonna eat anything, um, which we still might, but this dude looks nastier than shit. He's got like- He's got like outside worms on him. Look at that eye. Yeah, that's gross. You think that's from us? No? No. That's, I he's just sick. Yeah, we don't want to eat that one, but little piece of cut bait, first line. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That's cool. We might not have much else, but we got one. Yeah, I mean that one didn't really seem like he was on there. Yeah. Too much. We were but... when we were walking up. Oh 
All right, well, keep it rolling. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Yep. All right, we learned that night crawlers kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> that bait is definitely the way to go. I thought the crawlers would come in the left. Yeah, I thought they'd get at least something. Yeah. Like a fish of some sort. There's just so many more options with the crawler. That far one, I don't know. Can you just go check that one quick? Just keep going down the line, probably. I want to say bullhead for last. This one's bullhead. This one is? Yep, this one right here is bullhead, bro. Mm -hmm. That catfish we had last night when we were setting up was bigger than that one we just caught for sure. Oh, yeah. That was a bigger hook, too. Yeah, it was. That was a 7 on circle hook. I was wondering if we have one broken off. Yep, we got one. Oh, that ain't a bad one, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, Billy. Yeah, bud. Still, like, kind of a little greaser, though, but... Yeah, just a beat up mud cat. Beat up. He's a little bigger than the first one. Yeah, no, he ain't bad, man. Both of them are bigger than uh, anything I've caught out of here, like I said. Still looking pretty slimy. Though. <laughs> yeah. What is wrong with his belly? I don't that know. That is a greaser if I've ever <laughs> Not a bad one. Not bad. Probably about a four pounder or something. Definitely greasy. I don't know if I'd want to eat any. No. <laughs> They're pretty, uh, I haven't seen like channels that dirty before. Yeah. Even crazy. out of creeks and that's rivers. Gross. You're up for six so far. Yeah, it should have been three for should six. Should have been three for six. I mean, if that I mean, didn't break off, we'd be For our first try. Dry, homie. That's not bad. We're doing it. This is the big bullhead. Yeah. How come you didn't make any friends down there? Still in good shape. Yeah. So we leave him on for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was mildly climactic. Mm-hmm. All right. A couple of these had worm hooks on them and, uh, like, 20-pound fluorocarbon, I believe. So we got 40-pound mono on here now and replacing all of the little hooks with cut bait and bigger hooks because why not? So I'm toss these back out here. And, um, no, no. Jeff old Timmy Bud here. I don't think we got one here. Bait's gone. No, night crawler. The, the damn night crawler didn't do it, Jordan. Nope. Yeah, I was unsure about this. I felt like we'd get like a carp or yeah, I thought we'd a get drum like a or. Or pretty nice sound and view to wake up to in the morning. I, well, I mean, I didn't really wake up here, but it's the first place I came when I woke up. Um, well, we got two out of six, one broke off. I don't know if you guys caught that. I don't know if I had my GoPro on, but we got two out of six, and uh, one of them was on mine and one of them was on his, and they both held up. Uh, we found out he had ran some fluorocarbon leaders one broke off and uh, that's unfortunate that happens um, especially close to all this rock and stuff but we replaced all of them 
except the mine. We replaced his with floor uh, mono leaders. Some heavy mono leaders we put. We rebaited them all with cut bait. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna make this a dual part. If not, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this was super fun, super fun to teach Josh something, and uh, hopefully we plan on doing this more. Um, different spots, different locations and everything, so yeah. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. But I'll let you know if uh, we end up making a second.